Matt, well we've been out with you boys uh, the last couple of days, we've been out uh, having a look at these big Vivet machines, mm -hmm. tell us a bit about exactly what you, what you guys do. So Jay Riley Beet Harvesters, we're the sole UK importer for the Vervat Beet Harvesters and the slurry, self-propelled slurry tankers, so we've got a team of 16 um, at our workshop facility in Norfolk, we cover the whole of the UK, sales, service and parts. Um, as far north as Inverness with some slurry machines, some beet harvesters in Aberdeenshire, slurry machines in Devon, Kent, Wales. So, so we, co we, cover, cover we, co we cover all, all, all of the UK. Um, you always get around a bit then? We do, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we get all over. So it's, um, you bit know, a bit of traveling about. Pre predominantly service focused. We've got, you know, seven guys. You know, up and down, uh, up and down the country, offering you know, hopefully the best service in the industry. So right, so I went out to see Ed Powright running his two machines. Matt, run us through his setup and what he's running. Yeah, so Ed, Ed's uh, quite unique with the operation he runs. He's got a nine-row um, Vavat beat eater, so a nine-two-five lifting on nine rows as opposed to six. So it's the only one in the UK. He's run that machine since 2018. Um, he works that machine alongside a self-propelled beat chaser as well, as long as, as well as some trailers, depending on the size of the field and, and the carting distance. Um, so yeah. The, the, the so, that, so that chaser, that's been converted from a harvester to yeah. a chaser? Yep. Yeah, so for many years that machine was lifting several thousand acres of beet. Um, then we brought it into our workshop, converted it, and now um, yeah, with some modifications, a front weight block. Um, cutting the tank side down, it's uh, yeah now chasing beat from the 925 every every day. So and that's something that you boys do quite a lot, is it? Or? Yeah, so it's increasing. Yeah, we've we've got another one, uh, another one gone out this this season to a, a contractor in North Lincolnshire. Um, a couple last season. So yeah, it's um, it's slowly on the up. Yeah. So alongside the nine row harvester, what's the other one he's run? Plowrights. They they replaced. Um, a 625 this year for a Q series, Q616. So that was a, 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 a fairly fresh second hand machine that was fully overhauled and refurbished in our workshop. Um, so between the two machines, Ed's lifting somewhere in the region of 6,000 acres. Um, some, um, knowing Ed, he's probably got room, room to take on a bit more. Um, he, he's covering sort of um, Lincolnshire, Nottinghamshire, Rutland area, so not afraid to travel the distance. Um, having having both machines and the and the high capacity 925, you know, the, uh, I think the 925's best day. He's probably done 103 acres in around 16 hours. So that's um, yeah, in terms okay. of capacity, that's phenomenal. I mean, most most six row machines are lifting you know, anywhere from 25 to 40 acres, sometimes more, but on average, probably 35 acres a day on average. So to do 103 is, yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. So we're out here today having a quick look at this demo machine. Do you want to tell us a bit about this one? So today we're up here in Doncaster. Um, we're with Middleton's, John and Tom, father and son, long-term Vivac customer. 
Um, we, we've got a, 616, a Q616 with a roller bed up here today. So that machine, um, you know, a fr fresh machine to Vivat as of last season. Uh, we're working with seven rollers in the bed. Um, the unique point to Vivat is taking the beat off the roller bed onto a turbine res opposed to the, the, the competition machines, let's say. It goes on to the, um, a, a 900 mil transfer web, which is always always the Achilles heel of those machines. So that's the, the unique feature of our machine. So far, so good, it's going well. We've got a couple of machines out in the market already. So I came out to you uh, when RP Needs had the digestate machine on demo. Do you want to tell us a bit about those? Yeah, so Vavat's, um, you know, two, two sides of the business are, are the self-propelled beet harvesters and the self-propelled slurry tankers. So in Europe, predominantly the Vavat Hydro Trike was, you know, renowned for its success. They're building 50 to 60 trikes every year. The last two years we've developed the Vavat Quad. This season, this spring coming, we've got six machines coming over. Um, so it's, um, the, to say the machine is taken to the UK market, you know, it, it's gone extremely well. Um, they've built a machine to, to work with the tram lines. It can also crab steer for out of the tram lines. It can have larger boom whips. You know, we've got machines with 24 meter booms. We've also sold machines with 30 and 36 meter. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's the right machine for the market. Okay, so going back to beet harvesters, Matt, run us through the, the machines that you guys so, work with. Uh, yeah, uh, at Riley's we do Vivat machines, new, second-hand, fully overhauled machines. So in the range, we've got uh, the Q series with turbines now with roller bed as well. We've got the 625, the six-wheel machine with uh, turbines and roller bed. So in terms of beet harvesters, we've got the most extensive range um, th than any other manufacturer has got. Um, yeah, in the UK, we've got over 175 beet harvesters out there. We're able to offer a, a machine to suit all conditions, um, having seven rollers in the front bed, followed by four turbines on a Q series or six turbines on the uh, the larger 625. We offer probably the best um, the best cleaning out of any any machine on the market. To be fair, so um, yeah, for that of made some brilliant developments in the last two seasons. Well, cheers for letting us uh, come out and um, do a bit of filming with you boys the last couple of uh, days anyway, Matt. It's uh, certainly been good to come out and see these, uh, these impressive machines at work. Yeah, no, thank and, you. And um, we'll try and catch up with you again at some yeah, point. Yeah, thank you. I look forward to seeing it. Cheers, thank cheers. you. Thank you.